Mr. Scott, do me a favor. I've seen you cook smiles. In your speech, cackle spices of joy, season the winces with giggles, you to wiggle your toes into the storm, surrender to your spirit. You were irrepressible. Always held your arm out to receive. You were always so needy, always so giving, free falling on forgiveness and courage. You clapped your hands and summoned chaos to enter your courts when your eyes still glistened fresh water innocent. You were golden. You left this earth with voices still chanting for your untarnished yellow, your curved lines, your bad choices, your scary decisions, your, your, your incisions to everything unfathomed and everything dangerous, your aura shined. And I've got a favor for this woman you've left behind. Tell the clouds that you'll give them your heart. Whisper your strength into the winds and hurricane love into our hearts shimmy out of the shells we created from pseudo love. Soothe the heavy spirits of woman like me, woman like she, woman like us, woman like we, we raging waves, we rolling thunders, we trailblazers, we guard our hearts like we're enemies of the kings, like we jostled imposters who claims that they reign supreme over us, over our temples. Hurricane love through our journey. Let that Savannah, Georgia Sunday morning sun settle into our chests. I've seen you cook smiles. In your speech, cackle spices of joy, season the winces with the giggles, you wiggle your toes into the storm, surrender to your spirit. You were irrepressible, so I know you can hurricane love. Beautiful. <laughs> this piece is called the introduction, which I should have done first, but whatever. whatever. Tilt the mic up a little. Sorry. Is this good? Yeah, that's good. All right. I'm awesomely awkward and ridiculously random. <laughs> My weirdness cannot be shoved in boxes. I'm more than a shot girl with her hands and her pockets. Darn it, I own uniforms. Born in the village. Maybe that's why I'm so goofy. But I know my past wounds have given my life so much more beauty, which is probably why my poetry has so much more potency. My imagination can burst through stars while eating marshmallows. Yes, I just personified my imagination. Hello. I can be guarded like a diary, open like slow and shields, but I always yield to the world. I got a mind that mumbles meticulously, a heart that loves ferociously. I'm fragile like white lilies, but I'm stern, firm when I need to be. Rarely butter up my words, I look for honey, honey. I'm awesomely awkward and ridiculously random. My weirdness cannot be shoved in boxes. I'm more than a shot girl with her hands in her pockets. Darn it, I own <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> All right, so this piece is called With You. Morning conversations bathe sunrise, sunrise grogginess. Rejuvenation is found in your voice. Time slows down whenever I whisper your name amongst mundane rituals. Just one syllable, tongue to cheek, but I savor it like salt water taffy Dion used to give me. I think about the taste of you. What do you taste like? Sugar, sunshine, and grit, I bet. A little brown sugar with a hint of lemon, I guess. I sometimes wish my secrets could lay on your chest, undress my silence and responsive ooms in front of you. Will you hold my tarnished parts and not be moved? Will you still be still as I engrave my fears into the grave? Will you run when old memories haunt my future actions and attempt to summon ghostly fears? For the first time, I'm actually afraid of losing a partner. I mean, if I do, I'll be okay. But your name will still simmer under my heart chakra and your smile will remain a portrait in my dreams like Monet to Impressionism. I am petrified of ever having to get over you. I want to be under you. Your skin tickling mine, your fingers tracing my spine, your beautiful big brown eyes swimming towards mine. You and I disobeying the rules of time, the sand and the hourglass twisters in the same position. Listen, I want to be a part of the stories you tell. I want to settle the rumbling in the center of your chest when you're rushing in the morning. I want to sigh softly under the navy blue palette while cackling at our dramatic antics and vintage jokes. 
I want to chase away toxic beliefs with you. Embrace the changes with you. Us women, let us shed our egos, walk away in our higher selves. Can I cherish your smile just for a little longer? I mean, you don't have to hold my gaze or anything. Just don't wave away the affirmation that your joy bleeds from your grin. I want to live out loud love with you. Lavishly uplift each other's energy with tainted agendas. I want to shed away fears with you. Tell you I'm in love with you and show you how deep I'm in it with you. Be a part of the various journeys intertwined in NYC's melting pot and feed our voices to those who know of this beautiful impediment but can't seem to find the words to say it with you. Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would make a great song. <laughs> Take your time off. What's love, man? Yeah. Good. All right. So this one is called The Essentials. Julie is smiling at the sun, wondering if your eyes can taste its shine. The random cackle in the kitchen from an embarrassing moment you thought you'd never survive from. Understanding is keeping the light on for the lost while the, found, while the found reminisce the days they wandered like gypsies harboring pretty jewels. It's looking within your own pain for a few spells just to meet the wounded where they are. Peace is allowing your heart to hum with the silence and burst your brilliance in the noise. It's the ancient oak tree unmoved by impossible hurricanes and unforeseen tornadoes. Love is seizing the dirt from diamonds that were always tossed aside like simplistic coals they appear to be. It's perfectly smiling at the rain clouds and the rainbows, equally cheesy and bright. Faith is telling your monsters you are nothing more than low lives lurking in the hallways at 11 p.m. It's the funny shaking and rumbling in your gut reminding you that you'll get through this. Support is looking past the potential, the present, and cupping the soul through it like the good berries Grandma Simpson's garden used to have. It's falling without the fear of being alone if you hit the ground, when you hit the ground. Beauty is your smile. Your smile when you finally know your worth. It's the chaotic loss of exchange for something greater. It's the perfection of acceptance, the fullness of everything. Yeah. This is called Unhidden and Unaddressed. It's based on a true story. Some I read in the newspaper a few years ago. Brown eyes and brown skin and a healthy fro under his gray brim. Smiled within, but his eyebrows always caved in. Perfect attendance at work and knows his work. Take care of the kids and he's no statistic. Provides for his household, holds his lady close. Doesn't boast about the car he drives or the money he earns. Yearns to be the best he can be, eats well for longevity. He's always on time, but it's crime. Being in the wrong skin, the wrong place, the wrong size, the wrong time, way too much melanin, I guess. He got the death penalty within a second. He was in a suspected stolen car, a red Jaguar with a blue flag in the back. back. He was driving a white expedition. With two cracks on the turning signal lights, a cop pulled him over and asked him to step out of the vehicle. When as far as searching for him for weapons and drugs, he found nothing but grocery bags and a fluorescent light bulb. The man sucked his teeth in frustration and shrugged. The cop heard the aggravation, dropped the bag of white powder in the man's vehicle. The cop looked up and exclaimed, what's up? The man jumped and replied, well, what's up? The cop pulled out the Ziploc bag of powder and slammed the trunk. The cop smiled slowly walked towards the man's direction and said, what do we have here? The man's eyes widened as though he saw an expensive chandelier. The man shook his head and yelled, no, 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 no. See, you're, you're, you're framing me here. That's what you're doing. You're framing me here. The man's eyes widened and widened. The cop balled up his free fist and swung. The man ducked and yelled, help. The cop then pulled out the gun. The man's life was done. The next day, the newspapers read, XJ Walker killed by cop for resisting arrest. As usual, the usual unhidden and unaddressed story of a man with way too much melanin. <laughs> This 
dedicated to my grandma. It's called Annie Roof. Wisdom lost the keeper of its secrets. Your children lost the mother. Valley Stream lost the queen of good grass and pretty decorations sitting on concrete steps that were faithfully swept. The prettiest variety of flowers out in the front swaying in the wind as though they were fin to see their favorite singer sing their favorite tune. That southern dialect told an unruly child snatching, love given little lady with dimples was no longer here. Queen of sass imprinted within her veins, straight talk embedded on her tongue, fussy and godlike kills with steps birthed out of humility, you can't tell me my grandmother left quietly. Pieces of wise tales hidden in her scriptures, storytelling truths and fables underneath her laugh, she wasn't a flame. She was a wildfire at its peak all the damn time. Peace introduced her entrance. Steady shuffling house slippers followed suit. She gave her heart without hesitation to her family, even during the time she should have been selfish. She had nice china. She had nice silverware. She had nice rugs. She had a nice black stash she was holding up before in her living room. Had to tiptoe around the exquisite trinkets, hold your breath around the delicate picture frames, Bet not touch your good stuff. Bet not sit on the good furniture. Bet not eat up all the food. Be considerate. Pay attention. You cannot tell me. My grandmother left quietly. She was bodily faithful to her old westerns. Our eyes glued to the television when she was 73 years old, cracking peanut shells and challenging my comfort zones, a wash rag over her shoulders when it was a bit chilly. One wrapped over my heart whenever life reminded me it wasn't fair. She'd say, never is but you always got to keep walking i used to rise up early in the morning to eavesdrop on her phone conversations with miss pringle and miss mamie they talk about storms sensationalism church affairs and marital ones too those mm-hmm always tempted me to get the popcorn out of the top cabinet in the kitchen but i i lay quietly in my bed and listen sometimes i wonder if she knew because at the end of those conversations, she'd always spew out some golden nuggets that were easily interpreted for me to grasp. You can't tell me my grandmother left quietly.